So here we are. Two more videos and this thing should be done. It was pretty close to it. We're doing the lining today. Uh, lining's got a lot of extra steps. We'll do it. It's not that big of a deal. Let me show you what we got here. The lining has a left and a right. We're going to do a half inch stitch, fold it over and do a top stitch on the brown part. So everything will lay nice and even. This is where we would put pockets if we were going to put pockets. I'm not putting pockets in this one because I can't be bothered. But what we're going to do, like I said, half inch, sti half inch stitch on both of these. I'm going to fold them over and do a top stitch. So that gives us this. Now we take, and again, sleeve and put the front on. This gives us a thicker material to attach to when we attach to the, uh, the front of the lining, or the lining to the front or back, lining to the shell. Oh, wow, I can talk today, really. But this just makes a more complete, more finished look. Um, it'll look much better when we're done. This also gives us something a little more secure to attach the buckles to. And that's the important part. The lining tends to be thin, rippable. This is much more durable. I think it looks better. So again, same thing. Half inch. Fold it over. Do the same top stitch like we did here and here. And we'll move on to the next piece. Now we do the same thing with the bottom piece. Half inch, fold it over, stitch it, then the front's going to be done. Front's done. We could have done this whole thing with two pieces, right? We could have, oh, cut this piece and then inlaid this piece. This is the easiest and fastest way of doing this. And it's aligning, so it doesn't really matter. But these lines are going to match up in the front. And then this is going to line up, match up with the, uh, the back panel. Speaking of the back panel, that's what we're on to next. Front is done for now. It's sawdust everywhere because it is a garage. We're going to do the same thing with this. The back gets sewn all the way across. Then the bottom gets sewn on, half inch, gets folded out, half inch on the top stitch, half inch on the top stitch. Sewing is doing the same thing you just did a hundred more times. One quick, one quick caveat about the back here. If you notice. So like we did in the front, we're going to have to pleat everything together. It's not very difficult. It should only take a couple of seconds. Well, for you. Take me a couple of minutes. But since it's lining, I'm going to do much larger pleats. Because why not? Right. Three inches. Three inches. And then center.
So the right side's facing right sides. We pin the front to the back, half inch seam allowance, fold it over, half inch seam allowance, fold it over, top stitch, top stitch. Just like we have done one, two, three, six, seven, eight times so far. Again, right side to right side. We pin the collar on all the way around. We're gonna stitch it. This one we're not gonna top stitch, we're just gonna regular stitch. Half inch all the way around. Sleeve time. We pin them all the way around. Top stitch half an inch. Or uh, the stitch half an inch. Um, I'm probably gonna put a zigzag on this. I did put a zigzag on uh, the collar just because it'll make fell hand, or we're going to hand fell the, uh, the two collars together and that makes it a bit easier. But the zigzag on this is purely for a little bit of layer of extra strength since we're doing um, lining to lining. So we pin just like we did the sleeves on the body. We stitch it. 90% done. We have everything pinned. Now we do is half inch all the way around. Zigzag stitch. Lining is almost done. Look at that sleeves look at that it's nice. it looks fantastic i'm so happy with that oh my the goodness all right so we're gonna fold it together armpit to armpit we're gonna stitch all along here and along the other edge we're gonna do a zigzag stitch again then the lining will be done that's it we're at that point. I'm super excited. It's starting to look, I mean, I really love these colors together. The greenish gold and the brown just look amazing. I'm very happy with this one. All right, let's get to it. So there it is, the lining. Doesn't look like much this way, but looks pretty nice. I'm very, very happy with it. Next video, everything gets put together. We put the uh, cording all the way around, put the cuffs on, maybe the buckles. Depends on how fast my factories in China can make them for me. But at the very least, the whole jacket will be put together in the next video. I'm excited. This is fantastic. It's turning out way better than I thought it would. Well, all things considered.